Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at password cracking, uh, more specifically password cracking with John the Ripper. Alright, so a lot of you guys have been asking me for this and this is probably a very very important section that I've realized that I haven't covered before and uh, obviously this section is password cracking, uh, more specifically password cracking using John the Ripper. Alright, so John the Ripper is a fantastic password uh, cracking utility that is used to crack in you know, our passwords, system passwords, etc, etc. It's also very, very good for password hash cracking. Now, uh, for those of you asking for the more advanced videos on the channel, do not worry at all. I was planning this for a long time and I've li really, really listened to what you guys have had to say. And uh, yes, uh, on the channel, uh, um, you know, until now, I haven't covered a lot of advanced videos. And that's because I wanted to fully cover the beginner video so that anyone who watches the channel can go through the beginning tutorials and then get competent enough to move on th to the advanced series. Now, for those of you already advanced enough in this field, you want to see advanced videos. Don't worry about that. I've been working on the web penetration testing series uh, and some more uh, other advanced series and I was scheduling to upload the videos at the beginning of March but since you want since you want them early what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uplo uploading them from this week from Monday onwards okay so I've actually recorded and edit them, edited them and uh, now I'll move on to to actually uploading them so again thank you so much for waiting uh you know i just wanted to make sure that i covered all the basics first and obviously i can cover both sides of the spectrum where you know beginners can find value on the channel and also the advanced users can find value on the channel i really value both uh both both experience levels if if that's what you, what you want to call it uh, so you know beginners uh, should not feel intimidated at all and the advanced users should not feel like the channel is becoming very, very uh, basic in terms of the types of videos I'm uploading. So you don't have to worry about that. I'll be uh, uploading the advanced videos. So I'm going to try and get a balance. Anyway, uh, as I said, I've not uh, really covered the password cracking section. And today we're going to be looking at how to crack the zip and raw passwords with John the Ripper. All right. So the surprising thing is not many people or people actually find this really, really complex because, uh, you know, they don't understand the password, the uh, the password hash cracking process and how the, the cracking process works. All right. So essentially, uh, John the Ripper is a fantastic tool that, uh, you know, in, in its full power is great for cr cracking password hashes. And once you crack a password hash, you essentially get the password. Now, in this case, I have an encrypted zip file here that is encrypted behind a password. I created that uh, on my Windows operating system and I just gave it a, uh, I, I don't even remember what password I gave it. I probably gave it a very, very simple password. And that's because, uh, again, depending on the complexity of the password you are cracking, uh, the, 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 the process can take, uh, you know, a short, a short time to a longer time. If the password is more complex, it's going to take longer. If it's less complex in terms of the character set that you're choosing to use, um, then obviously it's going to take a less amount of time. If the amount of characters is, is limited or, you know, you have more characters and it's the, it, you have the use of numbers and symbols, then obviously the process is going to be longer. But enough said, let's get started with John the Ripper. Right, so John the Ripper is pre-installed on Linux, which is awesome. And uh, as, you, as you can see, I have the test file on my desktop. So I'm just going to browse to my desktop here. So change desktop, change directory into my desktop. And uh, I'm going to clear that out. And now we can get started with the process. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the password hashes. And that can be done by using a tool called zip to john It is part of the, uh, the John uh, the Ripper uh, package. So let me just show you what it's used for. It's used for getting the password hashes. Now, depending on whether or not you're using a zip file or a RAR file, the process is still the same, or it has a utility for both of these uh, processes. So if you're using a zip file or you want to uh, you want to get the password from a zip file, the first thing we need to do is we need to use zip to John. All right, so zip to John. Sorry about that. Zip to John. And then after that, we specify the file. And then uh, if we hit enter, it's going to give us the password hash, or we can output the file into a TXT document, which is the uh, the preferred way of doing so. Once you go into uh, becoming a penetration tester, it's very, very important that you save all of the results that you're getting and everything uh, that was involved in the process. So again, this is why I was talking about, you know, really, really covering the basics so that people learn, uh, you know, penetration testing the right way. All right. So as I said, if you're using a zip file, you can use zip to John. If you're using a RAR file, you can use RAR to John. All right. So the process is relatively simple. In this case, we're using a zip file. So I'm going to use zip to John. And then now I'm going to specify the file name, which in this case is called test.zip. So I'm just going to test.zip. 
whoops, sorry about that, test.zip. And once I've specified the file, if I hit enter now, it's gonna, whoops, for some reason we've uh, got an error there. Oh, there is a space uh, in there. So let me just see if I can rename this uh, and get rid of the space between there. Uh, there we are. Let me just rename it. Fantastic. Okay. So now we can go uh, zip to John test.zip. Now once I hit enter, it'll give me the password hash. Don't worry if it gives you the error that the, uh, the file is not encrypted. Uh, irregardless, the password hash uh, starts with the dollar sign and ends with the dollar sign. That is a, a hash. So it ends here or actually here. All right. So it starts with the, uh, the dollar sign and ends with the dollar sign. That's how you know what a password hash is. So now we need to crack this, but first I want to export it into a TXT document. So to do that, we just use the output denoter, which is uh, the greater than sign. And we give the name of the, uh, the document. In this case, we're using, we're storing it in a text document. So I'm just going to call it, um, hash oops, hash.txt, and I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to uh, save the hash for us in here. There we are, fantastic. And now we can get started with the password uh, hash cracking process. So I'm just going to clear the terminal now, and we can use John. So now we have to use John, and uh, we now need to select the format of the of the file that we're trying to crack, and then specify the hash or the, ha the document that contains the hash. So we say John, and then we use the format denoter, uh, so that is the format command, uh, and that is denoted by a double dash and format. All right. So after that, we then say format is equal to zip. Now, again, if your file is a RAR file, uh, the process is the same. You just need to change this into a, a RAR. All right. So in this case, mine is just zip. And then now you have to specify the hash. So if you have copied the hash, you can just paste it in here, here directly. In this case, we have saved it on a document. So I'm just going to specify the document name. So hash dot txt and i'm going to hit enter and the uh, the password hash uh, cracking process is uh, there it, as you can see it was uh, performing the cracking process and uh, it got it in a few seconds and as you can see the password is really really simple one two three four five six now the reason i chose this is because uh, uh again i did not want something very complex otherwise it would have, uh, it would have taken a longer time and that is the thing you need to understand about password cracking uh, even when you use tools uh, when you're cracking you know, logins like the SSH login and you're using tools like Hydra, the process is quite uh, quite a while. You know, I remember you cracking passwords when I was learning or when I was, you know, in my first job, the, pass the password cracking, uh, you know, took almost probably about 12 hours. So yeah, it's going to take a while. And uh, that is the uh, probably the, the thing about password cracking, whether you're performing a brute force attack um, or you're, you're, you're trying to crack against passwords, logins, uh, you know, or even if you're using a dictionary attack, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty much just about time. All right. So that is how you, to crack a zip file or a RAR file. The process is still the same and there's your password. So now we know the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let us confirm that by actually trying to extract our file here. So I'm going to hit extract here. I'm going to hit extract to my desktop. There we are extract. And I'm just going to enter the password. And I'm going to hit OK. And there we are. Extraction completed successfully. Fantastic. We can close that up. And in my test file, I just had some really basic files. Yeah, there's a setup there just for Synergy, which is awesome. All right. So one more extra thing. I'm going to give you guys an extra bonus. I'm going to show you how to crack Linux passwords uh, with John. All right. So with the, the, the thing about Linux passwords is Linux passwords are stored in, a, in the ETC and the shadow folder. All right. So I'm pretty much uh, most of you are familiar with that. Those of you who are advanced users should be familiar with uh, the file structure or the uh, the Linux file directories and where the passwords are stored. But the thing about them is uh, the, the file is encrypted, so you need to crack it. Uh, so by default, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a user. Uh, so user add and I'm just going to say the user uh, username should be uh, let's just call it user user two. All right. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to add the user. Now I'm going to change the password of user two. So I'm essentially what I'm doing right now is I'm just creating a user and a password and I'm going to show you how to crack it. Uh, the, obviously the Linux usernames and passwords. So you can actually crack the passwords that belong to all the accounts on the Linux operating system. So uh, I'm going to give it a password. So it's going to ask me to enter a new Unix password. So again, I'm just going to enter a really, really simple password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make it a bit complex. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to hit enter. And there we are password updated successfully. So to crack the, to crack the, the, the shadows file, the, the shadows file exists in the, uh, the ETC. And as you can see, if you specify 
the shadow file uh like this the etc shadows file you will essentially that that is where all the passwords are stored so we can use john and we can say etc shadow uh if i just open that up there we are shadow there's the shadow file uh again by the way it is a file so we just hit shadow and once we hit enter it's going to start cracking the password hash and it's going to give us the results uh, as you can see here one two three four five six seven so that was really really quick now let me explain the results that we've got here because it may feel a bit uh, a bit confusing so as you can see detected that the hash type was a sha uh, 512 or 512 so that is an encryption protocol or an encryption encryption algorithm sorry about that very very powerful and again it was able to crack it really really quickly now by default it's telling me something here that it loaded three password hashes with three different salts uh, so what this means is, yes, I have uh, performed this cracking before and it found the password hashes and they were cracked. So what it's saying is I had three accounts that were cracked before and it we are, uh, they've already cracked the hashes. So it's not going to crack uh, those um, the password hashes for those accounts. It only cracks the ones that do not be, uh, that have not been cracked yet. In this case, which was user two and it got the password there, which was awesome. Uh, so that uh, is essentially how to crack Linux passwords. It's really very simple. As I said, uh, people just, you know, really over, over, they just, they just make things a bit too complex for themselves. And the, the, the process, if you understand the process, uh, the, uh, then performing the techniques, you know, to exploit a system or to, in this case, crack a passwords are really very simple. It's just about time, patience and uh, prudence. All right. So I'm just going to clear this up. And uh, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to delete the user that I created user delete um well oh I'll, I'll do that later anyway thank you so much for watching uh this video guys i hope you found value in this video please leave a like down below if you have any questions at all any at all just leave them in the comment section or on my social networks or you, you can hit me up on kick thank you so much for watching guys and have a fantastic day peace